Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 6 yeah. of Lots of Giants. The last episode, we did some more exploring off to the uh, the right side of the map. Let me just eat this. Uh, we explored over here, got ourselves some more gears, got some more saplings for our little farm, mapped out a wormhole, hugged some spooters, uh, discovered that we have some more rocky biome here, and then most importantly, I got a bunch of ice for my flingos. Nice. Now, uh, let's see. I want to do a hand bat before that thing meet my inventory goes bad. I now know that I can place down my crockpots and such. I have more than enough room, clearly. So, crockpots, where are we putting you? Where are we putting you? I'm gonna put drying racks down here. I'm gonna put a crockpot here. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna put the crockpot with all the ice boxes like right around here somewhere. So, let's do this. And I need to chop these trees. I can put the meat in there. Again, it's not gonna last very long, sadly. It's on its way out. Uh, maybe we can prolong that life. Let me see here. Spoil in 1.9 days. I have a slight amount of time myself to place these saplings, but let's get some charcoal. I want to get my crockpots up and running, or at least unlock the recipe. And we're going to need more trees than this. So it's either time to go burn down a whole bunch of birch nuts, which I'm strangely hesitant to do, because if we lure a badger through there, I might get myself some living logs, and of course, I want the damages, Wendy. I want the dark sword. The whole sa the whole having sa more sanity as this character, just not draining that fast, and then the extra damage to make up for her shortcoming and damage. Yeah, that seems like a good combination. 16 charcoal? Not bad, not a bad haul. I need to drop Globber off, and or butcher his ass. <laughs> we, could, we could spawn Krampus. It's going to be night. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Got Abigail. Okay. I don't hear him. Where you at, buddy? I don't know where my torch went. I gotta listen for him. I didn't hear him. But he'll come towards the base to steal the stuff. But Abigail will tank. Where did he go? Obviously, I like fighting them during the night. Because they're asleep. Hey, we're at two out of two. Doesn't look like we're going to freeze. I still... Don't hear the snore. I swear, ever since the patch that added more Krampus in... Per, uh... Like, naughtiness trigger when you go over that threshold... I swear they spawn farther away. It's always... Always sort of seen that way. I want to take these because he'll go for those. Yeah, the pork is stale. Still, still useful. Where you at, buddy? Oh, get him! Get him! I wonder if he's going to be affected by the day count, or the amount that spawned because I used um, glomer to spawn. What I mean by that is, it's not like day 100, so we don't have a shit ton extra spawning. Do we, do we get more or less because of that? I'm assuming we're going to get less Krampus spawns. Okay, I'm still hesitant to leave the base because I feel like there's probably another Krampus somewhere. Let's just hang tight for now. And kill this torch. Okay. One. I don't hear a single Krampus running around. And none of that stuff got picked up. Huh. Well... I think we may have uh, only got one Krampus that time. That's a bit of a letdown. Let's make our old bell nice to have. And of course we can butcher Glomer here in the, the coming days anyway. I'm letting those berries rot. They, they can stay in that chest. Alright, uh, I still want to go explore. There's a whole hell of a lot of things I need to go do. But real fast, let's unlock this recipe. It's going to require... Shoot! That's going to require a shitload of twigs. Damn. Crockpots, seeing how many we're gonna end up making. So it's, it's six per recipe, which does cut into your supply. I'll do that one, and let's do up a couple more cuts. To, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had cut stone already. Yeah, let's get some, let's get some cut stone that we already have made. We can make two more because of the charcoal. Being my, my charcoal right now is my limiting factor, and Krampus, that Krampus kill got me just as many as I needed. Very nice. So, access to you, you, and you. Good to go. Now I have to go burn more trees down or something. 
drop these off, drop that off. That frees up space, so I can put these in here. Cool. No, no, I said it there. All right, twigs, I need to get you placed. I only need my inventory. So fling out real fast, make sure we are good to go. I would like to maximize the placement or make it as compact as possible. So let's just keep it right next to the grass and twigs. That way I have more room for potential drying racks because I like me some drying racks. Chester, get your fuzzy little butt out of here. Your furry little whatever you are. Let's just say a little fuzzy ball. Yeah, fuzzy ball of emptiness. Get your ass out of here, sir. Otto Von Chesterfield. Or, did I say Otto Von Chesterfield? I, did I fuck that up? No, it's Otto Von Chesterfield Esquire. I, how did, I don't know why I thought I fucked Chester's name up. Ah, uh, I get so self-conscious when I talk to myself and make a YouTube video. You guys would. You guys have no idea. It's so weird. <laughs> no. Oh uh, my goodness. Abigail, how how long have I had Abigail up? Uh, like spawned in. I don't know. I feel like I'm losing track. We're gonna miss her when a boss spawns and just steamrolls her. I don't expect her to do anything during any boss fight. She might survive a Moose Goose, like, hit or three at best. But, uh, yeah, beyond that, she's going to die. Bear Drew going to ground pound. She's dead. Defy, one swing, one ground pound. She's gone. Gearclops, yeah, a hit or two. I expect that's a killer. Yeah, I don't see Abigail doing too much work against any bosses. That's going to come down to me. Uh, okay, I bone Now... I still want to go explore. I do not have that many gold rocks, do I? No. I have what's in my inventory, which is okay, but it's not that much. I still have a surprising amount of gears left over. We don't need to pick up any more flint. Oh, wait, no. I put away my flint like a dumb. Oh, and I also want to do this. Hold on. Before I commit to exploring, these are things I want to do. Let's get four of these up. So I need six of those, don't I? Do two doodads. Go next to you, make you, and make you. Alright. I wanted to have my endos up and running. That's something that just, uh, yeah, it's sort of engraved. In fact, let's split that stack, because I'm going to go mine. Food for the trip. I don't have piss all for food. I can cook these up, and oh my god, I need more twigs. I can cook these up to get some more freshness out of them, and we can do, like, meatballs or something. Maybe I want to forsake the berries. Do I want to forsake the berries? I only have one ice. Uh, and that would be like, you know, these are going stale. And I can cook them up. Because I hardly need sanity <laughs> as this character. So while green caps are a, uh, an amazing gift and everything, that's probably just going to benefit me more to cook it up and use it as filler. That's a bit awkward, using a green cap as filler. Because green caps are amazing. Where's that fairy ring? The red one? Where was it? I think it was over here. Yeah, it was right there. I was going to say, I could, I could harvest that and get a shit ton of filler, too. Ideas, man. Ideas. Well, let's roast it all up. Let's put the stuff in the icebox, do up a couple meatballs, and be on my merry little way. I like to use this meat before it goes bad. So, while that does look like, and it kind of is, objectively, a very inefficient recipe, unless I have, like, a deer clops fight imminent, I don't need the, the sanity boost. So, <laughs> let's do up some meatballs and be good to go. Come on, meatballs. My stomach is 150, so eating you is a touch of a waste right now. Let's get two of them in an ice box and one for the trip. That'll be, gonna be good enough for me. Alright, you guys stay here. I won't need to leave. I don't, I don't think I'll need to take the hand bat. Let me just keep it in there to leave it, you know, there. Let it be fresh for as long as possible. I will probably start getting cold again tonight. We only have a couple days until winter, and we started getting cold earlier. I do want to hit up the gold rocks, get them dealt with, and explore some new areas. See what is up here, if anything useful. Yeah, tree, I heard that. I heard that. I'm hearing trees. Clearly, I'm crazy. Uh, you don't go there. That's where my tentacle spike goes. What are you doing, rock? Come on now. Uh, ooh, got some graves. Okay, so trinkets. I really ought to just mine them or dig them up right now while I have max sanity. Sweet. That way we start regening here in the day. Ghost? We'll make, we'll make Abigail fight it. <laughs> Abigail, kill. Who's gonna win? Can she catch the damn thing? Huh? Are you even gonna catch the damn ghost? Like, do I have to kite him in you? 
Can she not damage ghosts? <laughs> what? It almost looks like she can't. I don't think she can. She didn't do anything to the ghost. Uh, what? Well, that's two gourd snots in a row. Interesting. Some teeth. We have the pig king right here. Yes. Red. Red gem. So we will do the whole gem thing. Ooh. And it, ooh. Ooh la la. And a cave right there. Yeah. With that extra silk, I should go get a... I should go get a bug net, make myself that miner, or yeah, the miner hat. Maybe even a lantern. Nice. I think that ghost will go away on its day. Could be wrong. I don't fully understand ghost mechanics. Blue gem, more gold. Yeah, I, I don't often ever really fight ghosts. <laughs> I mean, how often do I dig up graves? There's only a couple times that I do it. Okay, let's see here. You, that's another ghost. Wendy just has terrible luck with ghosts, I see. Well, I thought there was one there, but I guess not. Let's keep moving. If they despawn, they despawn, so be it. If I have to kill them, I'll kill them. They're not exactly difficult to fight. It's just I, I have nothing to gain right now. I'm killing one of them. Okay, we're still at 2%, or 2%. We're still at 2 on the temperature, so we are okay. Uh, I do need to burn some trees down, but these trees are kind of just like randoms. Not part of a bigger patch. That one might... Nah, I'm not gonna burn that. I'm gonna wait till I find a bigger forest that we can just forsake. Okay, careful. Is this just like a rinky-dink swamp with nothing in it? Good. Gotta be careful. I don't wanna walk in with swamp right now. That would suck. Okay. The, uh, torch. Gone. And we'll have enough time to wait, so we'll pick it up. Is this really just gonna be, like, a whole lot of nothing? And I bet that wormhole maps to that one, which is a bit depressing. That's not a very good one. We'll check that here shortly. That, oh, hell, you got the paper in the inventory slot. Nope. Okay, make sure that is over here. Tools there. You there. Gotta make sure my make sure my items are where they belong. My, my emergency torch is, like, always over here. So, now we regain some sanity. Thank you. Pick up some flowers, because rot. And this mosaic doesn't really have much to offer so far, unless it wants to throw a tall bird fortress my way. And if it does, well then I love this mosaic biome. <laughs> it's, it's still possible, but it's incredibly unlikely. I think I've only ever seen that one as Wolfgang. Ooh, a lumpy forest. I think we might burn the lumpy forest down. I'm sorry, lumpy tree guard. Looks like this connects. Yes. So let me explore the center of this in hopes of finding a certain set piece that we all know and love. Uh, I highly doubt that we'll find it, but we'll check. We shall check. Based tall bird fortress. I, I, I still think Abigail would get her ass beat if we sent her after a bunch of tall birds. Sad to say. It'd be fun to watch the fight, but I feel like it'd be over in a heartbeat because they don't get stun locked. <laughs> Poor Abigail. I'm just like thinking of ways to make you kill shit for me. Tumbleweed, what you got? What you got? Show me, show me your wares. Anything? Nope. You were a terrible trader. You fail. That tumbleweed didn't do much for me, now did it. Uh, more gold. Let's get that done. I do have a stack on me right now, so I'm not gonna be able to carry anymore. Unless, of course, I give it to Chester. Hey, buddy. Okay, you can hold some stupid trinkets. Short. Oh, and you're mine, you're full. Yep, there be no tall bird fortress. I am sad. I am very sad. <laughs> Oh, I just thought of something. I didn't even need that red gem because we have the purple gems from killing the bishops. So I can already do a shadow manipulator, so we do need to get on the whole bunny catching. I could even use this top hat as it goes bad. Press the hatitator, start working our way to a shadow manipulator. Granted, I need the living logs. But hell yeah, I want some dank swords in my life. Wendy needs some dank swords because she needs to do lots and lots of damage to make up for her poopy damage she has at a base. Alright, I'll do that. And Chester, come here, bro. Come here, buddy. Okay, uh, you have four rot on it, the morsel's going bad. I could almost use that morsel to make a, a bacon and egg if we don't have the eggs for it. Do I have. I do have the reeds, so do the birdcage. Let's do that. Let me stop eating all the seeds I pick up. I, I keep being stupid and I keep eating all the seeds. You can't even hold that, so I will eat it. Uh, nothing really else that you can hold. Alright, so let's find two seeds here. No, you bastard! Any seeds? Any seeds? 
Yeah, I scared those seeds right out of you. <laughs> we need one more seed, and then I'll go refine the papyrus and do a bird cage. So I need to get a bug net, and I need to get a snare. I want to capture a bird, and I want to capture some butterflies to make my miner hat. Good ideas. Good ideas all around. Seed? Oh, I tried. Seed! Yes! Good shit. I didn't burn the lumpy forest, though. I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you. I don't know if I'm going to burn that down or not. Don't you tempt me. Last time I followed you, wanted, there was a whole lot of nothing that came out of that. Don't you don't you do this to me. Do I have... All right, well, you're going to be gems for now. Picking, I'll give you what you need here in a bit. Uh, refine up some papyrus. And birdcage. Nice! Okay, an extra seed to use as bait. Silk. That's more than enough. All right, so bird trap. And we do want a bug net. So let's learn how to make one of those. If not two of them, to be truthfully honest with you. Uh, it's got to be at least in the grass here. Uh, well, I guess we could put it here, too. I don't think they spawned on the rocks. Or is it, No, it's only crows that spawn on the rocks, right? Yep, that was easy. I think it's crows that spawn on the rocks. Here you go. And then it's crows that spawn on that turf, too. Alright, so you will go near the whole shebang there. But what I would like to do first is... Uh, get another crock pot down so I know I'm placing you in the correct location. Let's examine that. Or, or I guess I could do it right here. I don't have to put it. I usually put it like at the top right. But I can put it right here. It doesn't matter. I shouldn't get in the way or anything. And, of course, it's fireproof. So there you go. Now, uh, meat. Monster meat we can convert over into bacon and eggs and such now. Fantastic. Chester. Tree gets nada. Let's get ourselves a bunch of gold. <laughs> Make it rain, pig king. Make it freaking rain, bro. Look at that loot. Do I have a lightning rod? I, I'm pretty sure a lightning rod. I know I've crafted the one that we're going to put over there, but I was going to say, I don't think I put the lightning rod down. That I've... Yeah. Let's <laughs> let's just do it right here in the middle. That's that's fine. That'll cover the base. We don't need another one. As long as we have one, we're good. I almost forgot about that. Totally forgot. In fact, I think what I'll do is get another one of those cut stones out and just... just just, uh, maybe have another one pre-crafted, cause, yeah, about that. <laughs> that. That doesn't feel right. Uh, Chester, do you have a cut stone? You did, you magnificent little bastard. Okay, that, 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 take what I can. I hate the rain. The rain before winter is the worst. Leave that broken one here, and we still need more fertilizer. Now, quite a bit of that stuff in here is rotting, but it's not quite there yet. I can do even more <laughs> flingos. We are in the clear. Uh, niter, plenty of niter. And we've got gems. Now, you have the purple ones? Oh, no, I have the purple ones because I have the niter inventory. Okay, I still need to go get more twigs. Do we have a bunch of twigs over here or anything? An okay amount. More likely to get, I think, over here. And plus, this is unexplored. Yeah, let's go get some twigs and such. That'd be a great idea. Wetness should cease being an issue soon. But it'll be enough of an issue that I think I'll start to freeze tonight. Not, it's not fun at all, either. Uh, I don't need to eat that green cap. No point. I can do this, though. Yep, let's do that. And we'll take one for the trip. So I has food. Chester, inventory empty. Uh, you good to go. Loop that. Alright, so we are ready to go get some grass and twigs and explore. I still need to hit up the desert, see what all is in there. I still need to see what happens here. I figure this is going to dead, dead end out into a whole lot of nothing. But I also want to go in the caves. I've got so many goddamn plans. Well, while it's night and we're in a deciduous and it's super easy peasy to be done. Let's go get ourselves at least 10 fireflies. That'll get me started here. Won't be all that I need, but it'll be enough to get us going and enough to craft the darn thing. Okay, so world temperature hits hit zero. Yep. Saw that one coming. Okay, well, if world temp's going to be stupid like that, then we'll have to just stand next to the fire for a little bit. Once it's not night and it's the world temp isn't negative one, and I'm not 
you know, soaking wet, that really won't be an issue. But until then, let's just be careful. 10, and the temperature's going up, so I think I may be able to move. Roll temps 3. My body temp will go down to match it. Hopefully the wetness doesn't overpower it. It might. 40% on you. It's getting close. Oh, we're at 2. We are at 2. I think we're good. I think we're good. Barely, but I think we're okay. Give me them fireflies. All of them fireflies. Shut up, Kakuna. I hear you. Don't attack me. <laughs> I don't think it'll attack us, but uh, it's, it's fun to be mean to the evil cat coon. And rip. Light. No! Okay, there's two up there. Alright, that's all we need. That's all we need. We're good to go. Okay, so that'll break my bug net. That's what I wanted to see. Now we have to make a straw hat. Uh, which requires quite a bit of grass. So, doing a resource run is really pertinent right now. And having a boss spawn would, you know, kind of tickle my fancy the whole lots of giants thing. <laughs> where are the bosses at? Come on. Hey, that one Musku spawn, that was it. Alright, this tree's gotta go. And before birch nuts, tree, poison birch nut trees. Which I would welcome. Because the logs. I could do... I could do trail mix if I need to heal, but I should be A-OK -okay on food and such. Okay, equip you. And 16 logs is pretty good. Yeah, I still need to burn down a whole bunch of trees. Let's get this thing crafted. We have enough... We have enough grass. So that's 12. Then under light. Let's go to our alchemy engine. I think I get the meatballs out of there, too. Miner hat to the damn rescue. Nice. I have one of those in my inventory makes me happy. She's soggy and sad. Well, you'll have to get over it. Because I don't feel like making an umbrella right now. <laughs> How much silk do I have? Not as much as I would like. I would like some so we can make like an umbrella and such. Um, silk for another bug net because I would like to capture more. More, more, more butterflies. So, the spooters that were down here. Right there. Do we have any other spooters that are closer? Like, for real? I mean, I have, what, one den there that I know of. Okay, there's a handful all the way down here. That's about it? That's sad. I really don't have crap for spooters near the base. I should have planted those eggs that we got from that tier 3 because the Abigail destroyed it closer to home. I should not have plopped it down immediately. That was foolish. Uh, I have the inventory space. I'm going to take the red cap, and we'll use it as fill in the crockpot. More meatballs. Again, we're, we're not privy to the whole tall bird fortress thing anymore, so we don't have that going for us. I'll take food where I can get it. Go get, go get, go get the butterfly, Abigail. Go get the butterfly. Yeah, you go get that butterfly. Tell who's boss. No, no, you're, you're, not, you're not done. Kill it. Kill! Rip butterfly. It tried. It tried. Alas, it failed. <laughs> there you go. More of these, not for the sanity, but for the rot. I could cook up berries, they go stale very quickly. Very quickly when they're cooked up. Also, fireflies in my backpack. That'll be my fuel for my hat. I can stay busy. Yay! Abigail, kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, shut up with the being cold thing! My internal temperature is gonna plummet because we're getting soaked. I hate the rain before winter! I say this all the time. It's like the most annoying thing ever. We'll have to we'll have to warm up here in a sec. I'm watching it. It's gonna be dusk, so it will get cold. Damn it! It's gonna be time to pull up that beefalo hat anyway. We're going into winter, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to turn around, and go home, dry off completely. What was the rain? No, the rain's not going away. I th thought it was because we were under the tree. Yeah, get the beefalo hat. Ah, shush. Shush, you. Get the beefalo hat, uh, thermal stones, get our internal temp up real high. That same old song and dance, because it works ever so well. What I wouldn't do for the rain to stop! What I wouldn't do for the rain to stop right now! Fuck off, rain! <laughs> okay, that... Oh, I can go that way and be relatively close to a spooter. Well, then there's the one over here. That has the wormhole that I'm assuming takes me up there, which is kind of close to home. Yeah, and then I can get grass and tw twigs along the way. 
I think I'll do that. Okay, we're still not freezing, but that's because we're dancing around this fire. More of you. Sanity is going to plummet because of what we're wearing. Yeah, I should just be like, you know, smart and make an umbrella, but I'm going to wait because this isn't going to last much longer. We'll just burn shit if I need to to stay warm, which I'm going to have to do. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> All this because I don't feel like making a damn umbrella, or rather because I don't have the silk to make the umbrella. Let's be real. So this will get me pretty toasty. Uh, this is the worst time. That this transition with the rain when it should be snow. Or it shouldn't just, shouldn't just be doing anything because it's autumn. But uh, these can burn for charcoal for later. I'm not against that one bit. No, Chester, just stop fucking dancing in the fire, you scrub lord. Maybe this water will fill the hole in my heart. Um, I don't know about that one. Uh, that doesn't seem likely. I, I, I won't continue. No, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything else. Let's, <laughs> let's go over to the spooters. They'll be out in a boot. Abigail, go fuck their day up. And by fuck their day up, I mean give them lots and lots of hugs. Hug the spooters. They deserve it. This is like the longest autumn raid I have ever witnessed, ever. In the history of ever. What the fuck, man? And here comes the cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, everything's wet, so that shouldn't spread. Shouldn't. Operative word. It spread. <laughs> I saw it coming. I saw it coming. It's a wet sapling, and it's still spread over to that. What the hell? Gimme, gimme. Okay, and Spooters, we're coming for you, buddies. I will put down a fire if I have to to sit here and just hug you. It's gonna happen. Can't stop it. Rain, please? Oh, I keep thinking every time I get next to a tree and it goes away, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna stop. I'm in denial. Alright, guys, it is time, though, to wrap the episode up. Sorry to say. Episode 6 of Lots of Giants. Next episode, we'll hug some spooters. Maybe I'll run down there, but I think what I'm going to do is hop through the wormhole after that. Go home. Beef low hat. Double thermal stone. Get my internal temperature way up, and then we won't have to worry about being cold anymore. <laughs> Problem solved. I do need silk, though, so I can start doing some other things. Still waiting on a, a boss spawn. Um, that's going to be fun, to say the least. Hound attacks, uh, Abigail can deal with them. I still think a tooth trap field is a little bit scummy, but I think I'll make one like right around here or over here so I can use it to help me out with bosses just because I am weaker and I'm not exactly used to this character, so I don't feel shame in admitting that that would help me out greatly. But again, guys, wrapping up here, episode 6. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.